Amy from Mummy Mojo, and as part of a series on using safe and chemical free personal care products, um, particularly as part of a detox routine, but I recommend it in your daily life in the long term. Um, today I'm going to share with you some of my tips and also some of the products that we use in our morning shower routine as a family. Now, just as a reminder, there are around 10,000 chemicals that are approved for use in production for personal care products. And these have been scientifically proven to cause damage to the human body. Sometimes it can even cause diseases and then nasty reactions like eczema, dermatitis, all sorts of range of symptoms that can be really problematic. And so I'd like to introduce you to my daughter, my daughter Ava. <laughs> this is my gorgeous daughter Ava and Ava had a bit of an issue with eczema when she was younger and we were already on that path to be as organic and chemical free as we could in our household and so we really transferred across to using as many products as possible that were good for the skin, good for the organs and weren't going to provide any harm and we've really, we've just pretty much got rid of your eczema now haven't we? It's, it's, non-existent so I thought it'd be great for Ava to be part of this video today and you can share what how what our sort of morning shower routine is I've got a little bit of added extra stuff in there just to keep me young and beautiful but let's just show you our sort of basic shower routine some of the products we use um, that are safe um, so what are we what would we use first there so, eggs? normally when we're in the shower the first thing we would use is body wash and we normally use the Manuka Biotic body wash and it's very good all you do is just put it all in your body when it's all soaked in wash it all off in the shower and you'll smell nice and clean yeah so we, we do love Manuka Biotic it's um, not animal tested it's free from a lot of nasty chemicals petrochemicals mineral oils fragrances um, parabens those sorts of things and it uh, utilizes the manuka oil which is even more potent than the honey so it's very antimicrobial anti-medicinal and really good for the skin especially when you're dry or you have the propensity to have eczema so we love that body wash and the whole family use that Great. And what, what else could you use if you didn't want to use a body wash? Remember, Dad doesn't like yeah. to use the body wash. What so, does he use? Another thing to do if you don't want to use the body wash, you can use um, safe it's too girly. <laughs> you can use safe soap, which is yes. better. Yes. You can just, same thing, you can just put it all over your body when it's all soaked in, wash it all off, and it'll also smell nice and clean. Yeah. Now, this soap smells Really beautiful, this one is lemongrass, isn't it? And they'll always be labelled as well. So um, they'll be labelled that says sort of no nasty chemicals, not animal tested. So always look for the labelling on the pack. And usually if you can read the ingredients, then you're onto a, a, a safer bet. This is what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it looks like when it's being used. <laughs> what would be the next step? Um, the next step normally after you've done your body wash is normally shampoo. Now, normally when you use shampoo, Normally put it closer to your skull than down here yeah, on the head. Yeah. And um, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna rub it all in with your skull. It'll probably go like all foamy and stuff. <laughs> then you wash it all out, and then your hair will smell nice and clean. I mean, oh. we, we we like manuka body as well because it is. It can be sometimes difficult to find an organic product or a natural chemical free product that works as well as the ones. Um, that uh, have all those um, ingredients that you can't spell in them. But we find this one gives it a good, nice lather, and it does smell really nice, doesn't it? And once again, it's, uh, it's chemical free. Also, another thing that you can do with this um, shampoo is after you've been in the swimming pool from all that chlorine, yeah, you know, it washes all the makes it out. a little hard and stuff, you can use this and it washes it all out completely. So speaking of being in the pool and doing lots of exercise, which you do, she's a dancer, my daughter, what makes it nice and soft and smooth? Well, normally after you've done your shampoo, you use conditioner. Now we use this <laughs> argan oil. Argan oil, we yeah. use this one. And um, normally after you've been dancing or something, you can get really sweaty and your hair can get really mucky. So, <laughs> yeah, so what you do is you put it all in very nicely compared to the shampoo you just go like that. 
and you just smooth it all in and normally what you do is you wait for two minutes without getting your hair wet then you wash it all out and get all the Residues and yeah. Things like that. yeah. Like we've tried a number of ones. We all use a slightly different conditioner in our house, and you've got to find the one that's right for you. With Ava, with her hair, it is quite fine, and the Argonol just gives it a nice softness and just gets the knots out. So this one's one works well for her. Once again, look at the labelling on the pack and make sure that it specifies, you know, no parabens, no sulfates, no phthalates, no GMOs, etc. Just look for that on the bottle. And then you like to keep your hair extra soft, don't you? Yes. So what's your next so, step once you're out of the shower? Normally after you get out of the shower, you don't really put anything else on. But for us, normally when I get out of the shower, since my hair is like very, very thin, um, normally when I get out of the shower, I just wash all the water out of my hair and dry it all up. Then I put some of this detangler conditioner, basically dry conditioner. You just put it all in your hair and it makes your hair very, oh, very beautiful, soft. doesn't it? Yeah, I just put it in just then. <laughs> yeah. And um, so yeah, you just add some of this and it makes your hair extra, extra yeah. soft. Yeah. And this one's, you know, a light, lightweight <laughs> formula, really good for you. We've also got this other one, don't we, Ash? I think yeah. you prefer this one. Yeah, this I want this one. <laughs> this one is both brands. <laughs> but this one's good too. This one's an avocado oil. So mm -hmm. you can try all different ones. You'd be surprised how many different um, brands there are out there. Um, go to your health food store, um, a big chain like Flannery's or About Life, um, have a wide selection and obviously online as well. Um, I love Nourish Life. Um, there's lots of different online sites, other sites. Look at the links below, but you can buy a variety of different products and it's good to trial different ones, see which ones are best for you. But the key point is to make it chemical free and good for your health. Um, while you get results. Also, like I was saying about drying off your body, sometimes after you get out of the shower, your your body can get like really dry, can mm -hmm. get like very pasty. So, <laughs> so she has beautiful skin, but yes, I can relate to that. <laughs> so you can normally put in some body lotion to smoothen out mm. your skin and make it very smooth. I also use this for my eczema. Yeah, well you don't have eczema anymore, do you? No, but so I yes. used to use it for yeah. my eczema. It actually is very good for eczema. Yeah. I mean, I use really this, uh, Brad uses this. We actually, the whole family uses this. It's a very good all-rounder cream. But as Ava said, it's been really great. Um, the eczema used to keep her up at night. It affected her sleep, which then has a knock-on effect to other health issues. And now she sleeps through the night. Um, she's got beautiful skin for all of her dancing that she does on stage and um, she's nourishing her internal body at the same time with really good ingredients. So that's just, uh, oh actually I should probably share what I do with my yeah. hair too, don't I? I get a bit frizzy sometimes so I like to use the, the Shine Serum. Um, this is the original mineral and it's an organic um, arganol. My beautiful hairdresser introduced me to this. She only uses organic products. It's so soft. Oh, thanks, eh? It's so soft. Thank you. <laughs> so I like to use that. That's just a, a bit of a basic routine for our shower. Um, the products we use when we have our morning shower and just after our shower. Um, we hope you liked our video and that you, <laughs> even if you just make one change today, change one product in your shower routine, I promise you'll start to notice the, the, the health benefits after time. So thank you for watching you. and happy detoxing. Bye. Bye.